Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swainbird, and welcome to something a little different here. Dance, dance. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to make resource packs today. Uh, this is just Minecraft Skin Viewer. I use this to uh, make a lot of little characters for my thumbnails. You can kind of angle them around. You can type in any username, and it will pop up with their skin. You can save their skin, save a pic picture of them posed, all that good stuff. So check that out if you, if you want to make little Minecraft pictures. Now anyways, I'm going to show you how to do resource packs. Now this is something new for 1.6 that allows us to make uh, edits to stuff other than just textures. You can make edits to sounds and different things too. So I've got this pack here, and I'm going to show you how to make your own. This is the one that you guys already saw in the video, but here's the test pack. So the first thing you want to do is make a folder in your resource packs folder. Uh, if you don't know how to get to this, this is in your users, you go to app data, roaming, and then dot minecraft is where all your minecraft stuff is stored, like your screenshots and stuff like that. So you want to go into resource packs, and then this is our new one, this will be test pack, so just make a folder called whatever you want the, the you know, pack to be called. Then you make another folder in there called assets, and inside that another one called minecraft, and that should be blank. Now we're going to start getting the assets for that. Part of, part of the assets are in the actual assets folder in .minecraft, so you can just grab all these and copy them, and then we're going to head back into here and drop them down. The other parts are in your Minecraft jar, so there they all are there, so there's those. And then we're going to need to go in to access your Minecraft jar. You no longer go to the bin folder, you go to versions, and this is all the different versions that your new launcher has, and here's 1.6.1. And this, I've already opened it down here. You need like a program like WinZip or something to be able to open up jars like this. But this is the jar, if you've never seen it before. It holds all your data that you need to run Minecraft and everything. Now, if you open that up, there is also another assets folder in here. Minecraft, all that stuff. And this is where you get all your textures because they're just held in there. And I'm going to have to back up here. And we're going to go back into our resource pack, in the test pack. And we're going to drag and drop these into here. So now uh, we can just merge those. I think it's, it's doubling up on some of the f like language files, but I should have gotten all of the stuff in there if I back up and come back here. Yep, okay. So we have all the textures, everything. The last part we're gonna need is one more little thing we need to put outside of in this, in this test pack folder. We're gonna put one last thing, and that is in your 1.6.1 jar. It's in this huge, main directory and it will be under p if you just hit p it'll go down to that you need the pack.mc metadata and the pack png so drag those over plop them down if i refresh this it should be in here it's a little slower because i'm recording my desktop and that's it so you have everything you need now you can start editing this stuff and change it now uh, sounds are what I was messing with the most. You can go in and this is all of the sounds in the game, all the cave sounds, we got mob sounds, everything is in here. And you can play the normal sounds, like let's go in and just do like a horse whinny or something. Let's see if we have a, where's the horse idle sound? Oh, there's like a horse snorting. And if we wanted to change that, we would need another sound. And in here, they use the .ogg format. Now, the easiest program I found to, to make a uh, mp3 to that is audacity it's free this is a frying pan sound i found very comical but you can uh you could take this and if you open it on audacity like so you can go and export it as a ogg file and then you would take this and rename it idle whatever whatever sound you want to replace you rename it and save it as that and then you're going to go in back into your your uh, little resource pack and drop it in place of this, like you would delete the normal idle sound and you would put your new sound in there. And then when you go into Minecraft, you change like you would a texture pack, you change your resource pack to this and it will have those sounds just like I showed in the other video with the bird pack. So it's pretty simple. If you want to change textures, uh, there's some other tutorials about that. It doesn't, it's not too different. You just put the textures in to the texture folder like that. You can put musics. Uh, records and music and stuff in there but basically any sound has to be that dot ogg format and uh oh another thing i can show you uh if you open this pack uh, this is the picture that shows what your pack looks like so you can change that if you want to have like a custom thing but this here uh, you can open it with like notepad plus plus or a program and you can see this is a lot of data on languages but at the top here there's a description and if you change this like hey <laughs> and save it, 
then uh, when you open your texture packs or your resource pack folder, it will say it won't say the default look of Minecraft. It'll say whatever you put for that. So it's a good way to change, you know, whatever you want to title it or whatever. I've got some other resource packs in here that I converted, like the Adventure Time one and stuff like that. But yeah, basically, in a nutshell, that is how you create resource packs. So make sure you uh, you follow all those steps to put everything in there, and then you can start editing your assets and changing what you want. It's not too tough, actually. It took me most of the time to do this was making all the different villager sounds and stuff like that recording them and then converting the like slicing it up and converting them to OGGs took a little while but once you get it in there it's pretty fun I'm gonna keep working on my bird pack and uh, hopefully keep uh, making it better for you guys so thanks for watching uh, let me know if you want me to do more tutorials like this I don't do this very often uh, it's a little slow and very specific for people so I don't uh, you know I don't want to make videos only for a few people, but if I think this is something that's interesting because this is really new in 1.6, and it seems to be a lot of fun to put stupid sounds in there. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you next time for more Minecraft. Goodbye.